Hello everyone, so we're the co-founders of Blackbox, Robert and Richard. Uh, so last week we launched uh, our autonomous coding agent, CyberCoder. Uh, in less than a week, uh, we crossed more than 45,000 uh, developer uh, using it. It's directly inside your VS Code. We're releasing yep. it also inside uh, many more IDEs uh, in the coming days. Uh, However, based on requests, a lot of users, uh, they wanted a web version of CyberCoder. CyberCoder is an autonomous coding agent. Uh, so Richard is going to show you one of our latest uh, releases that actually addresses this point. And it's accessible directly starting this moment on our website, blackbox.ai. If you go on it, you'll be able to get direct access to it. Uh, so Richard's going to talk to you a bit more about how it's uh, implemented. And we're going to go through a real-time example directly while we're on the call. Yeah, so we're going to go through an example. As Rob mentioned, it's available through the web. So uh, you just have to uh, choose to, uh, to spin up uh, a new device where on a, on a power, in a few seconds, you'll have it ready uh, and open. So it will have the cyber coder uh, available for you to be used uh, on a device uh, that you don't have to do any setup locally. Uh, and you have, you have the ability to use this uh, uh, this with CyberCoder, it has all the same capabilities as your local VS Code would have, uh, similar to what you would expect from your current uh, capacity that you have on, on, on laptop. You'll be able also to choose different uh, device capacity that, that you'd want. But uh, CyberCoder is directly loaded here. It can execute tasks from start to finish. Uh, you can clone some existing repos and uh, start from public repos or private repos and have them directly loaded. Uh, and uh, just as you are using it locally uh, or other users have been using it, or uh, you can also do this now through the web directly and, uh, and do all the tasks that you normally would do with CyberCoder. Uh, now you can spin up as many as you want. You would be locally limited to what you can do on your own device. Now you can have them all in parallel working and uh, you'll be able to, to uh, monitor them as, uh, as they're being uh, uh, updated. So just to summarize, CyberCoder is an autonomous coding agent that has the ability to build apps from scratch, add features on existing code bases, remove features, make edits, find bugs, properly document the code. Uh, it got released on VS Code last week. Uh, However, we did just launch the web version of it. As Richard shared, it would allow you to spin up as many agents as you want directly in the browser. It's accessible through mobile, through laptop, through desktop. Yep. And uh, the exciting thing is that we offer a free version for everyone uh, that is really powerful. And if you want to get the pro version, uh, it's not a subscription base. It's actually all you have to do is refer one friend. Once they sign up, uh, you'll be able also to get uh, the pro versions both both of you. So uh, to recap, uh, all you have to do is go on blackbox.ai, select the agent, and you'll be able to spin it up uh, directly in the browser. And yeah. if you want to have it in your local VS code, then you have the ability to do it. There is going to be a lot of exciting releases that are going to be added on this version of CyberCoder that's web hosted and uh, uh, will keep you updated. Richard has yeah. just one final thought here. Yeah, also just to remind that you can also, it, it can stay persistent as much as you want. You don't have to uh, worry about turning it off, turning it on. Uh, if there's, if you want to be using it again, it instantly will be will be available back for you. Uh, you can also any anything you worked on will also be instantly restored. Either your entire chat chat history that was done or your entire work. Uh, it won't go away unless you decide to uh, to delete it. But you'll be able to have access to, and also you'll be able to communicate if you plug multiple ones. You have multiple ones that are running. You'll be able to set them up either as APIs or services that you'd want them to also interact between one another so they don't have to be just purely isolated. Uh, you can set them up to also have some, some connections between them. Sounds good. Appreciate it and we'll be in touch.